Can you repeat the question? No, I'm just kidding. There's no question. <laughs> just checking, testing you. <laughs> so obviously, you know, I only want to be your city councilman if that's what you want. Again, if you're happy with the way things are, then I'm not your guy. Unhappy that I am your guy because I'm ready to take the strong stand that is going to be required to fight off the federal and state agendas that are pouring into our local system. We need to put the local people first, the businesses, the homeowners, the renters. It's, it, we need to foster and take care of our citizens. We need to make sure that, that we are, you know, looking out for, our, for, for this, this city. I don't have a planned speech, but what I will tell you is this, is that I believe that I have the strength and the will to stand up to the police department when they're not doing right things, to our planning department, to our city staff. I've been working hard in the community. Some of you may not know, but I do almost 50 fundraisers a year at the theater to help the schools, to help nonprofits, to help Relay for Life, Sir Davis Street, the list goes on. I'm the senior vice president of the South San Leandro Business Association. I'm the vice president of the Halcyon Homeowners Association. I'm really involved. I've lived in this area my entire life. I care about it. I believe that we need to take a stand. Look how many people. These chairs aren't even all filled up. I commend you for being here. You truly care. But we need your help. And once you vote for whoever you vote for, please don't leave us alone. We need your assistance. The, the way that I would take care of this city uh, and executing decisions and ideas is by working with you folks and, and having, you know, I can't possibly read everything. So I need helpers. We need people to be reading, reading this info, participating with us, and making these decisions because they affect you. Yeah, you too, Craig. You too. That's right. Uh, so, you know, the point is, is the status quo truly must go. So I haven't asked for any endorsements. I want your vote. I don't need your public endorse endorsement. I don't need anyone to know that you're voting for me. I just need your vote so we can make some real change and steer this ship in the right direction. I know why I have competition. It's because we've got Creekside Plaza, Village Marketplace, Kaiser, the Dark Fiber Loop, the Shoreline Development, the Senior Community Center, Estabrook Place, We've got the Performing Arts Center at San Leandro High School. We've got Korematsu's ninth grade campus. We have done so much. When I first came on the uh, council, they said, oh, they've been talking about the marina for about 20 years. And no one's ever come to any conclusion or decision or anything with the marina. And it's a wonderful place. We've got it now. We have a shoreline committee in place. We have a developer. We are moving. We're on the move. I want to take the time while I have my two minutes to clear up some um, literature that was sent out that was negative toward me, that said that I spent uh, city money on the most expensive iPads. That is incorrect. I have my own iPad that I bought, and I use it every day. I'm hooked to it. So everybody saw me using my iPad, and I said, hey, what would happen if everyone else would have iPads you could get all of our information, the internet, you could send us our, uh, our agendas, and you wouldn't have to have the $20,000 agreement with the Xerox company. We now save $20,000 every year based on the fact that we don't make copies of all of our agendas anymore. That was a savings. That wasn't taking money from the city. I also want to say that everything takes time. Two years ago, I was sitting on the facilities committee, and I said, you know what? We've got to get a, a stoplight at the corner of 136 and Bancroft. And it's got to be like the kind in Chinatown, where everybody crosses at the same time. But it's got to be orderly. It took two years. And in the beginning of school, we had that stoplight. All I'm trying to say is things take time. I'm on the council, and I will remain there for you and committed to finishing the projects that we start. So uh, the San Leandro School Board went paperless before the City Council did, and we were not issued iPads because it'd, it'd be unconscionable to take an iPad when we didn't have enough money for papers for our students. And I, I question the validity of uh, Councilwoman's statement that she did not accept an iPad because she did. Um, you know, just like you, I want to see a better San Leandro, and that's about making our economy healthy again. New Fiber Loop gives us this opportunity, but it's not just going to happen on its own. I've proven that I take initiative, lead, 
bring people together to get things done, even under the most difficult circumstances. I'm not running against the city council. I'm only running against the incumbent in District 2. We need a council member that does more than just sit on committees. We need one that shows initiative and is a true leader for our community. My opponent has demonstrated no personal initiative during the four years in office. And that's why I'm endorsed by the San Leandro Chamber of Commerce, the Alameda Labor Council, the Building Trades Council, Supervisor Wilma Chan, San Leandro Mayor Stephen Cassidy, Council Member Pauline Cutter, Pace, and the Sentinels. You've heard that my opponent has the endorsement of police and firefighters unions. But let's be clear. Those endorsements and the campaign funds that come along with them is about the current contract negotiations as much as anything else. Like you, I support the hard work of our police officers and firefighters that they do for our community day in and day out. And everyone wants to see more police on the streets. I oppose the cuts to our, pre our preventative policing program. We must fix our budget or we can't deliver the pensions we've promised or have the chance to hire the new officers we need. I ask to represent you on council because we can't afford another four years of failing to address our problems. It's unacceptable to say that pension reform is unavoidable and is coming whether or not we like it. This should have been addressed two years ago. This should have been addressed four years ago. You know, with leadership and initiative, San Leandro can and should prosper. It's within our grasp, but we need to make a change. So I ask for your vote, and I promise with all my heart and soul to make San Leandro a better San Leandro.